Well, I'll tell you what the numbers say right away is Dan Henderson's 10 years older and 40 years old. He is the war horse in this matchup. Also, an inch and a half taller is Fei Zhao, and the three-inch reach advantage is, is something that he's going to use, but the size, the weight, normally Fei Zhao walks around 230, 235. He is a big boy. All right, here for the introductions of tonight's main event, the one and only, the estimable Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nationwide Arena as Strike Force and Showtime present the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink, bigger, better, faster, stronger, party like a rock star. We are sanctioned by the Ohio State Athletic Commission. The executive director is Bernie Profato. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from Columbus, Ohio, First, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. One of the most decorated fighters in MMA history. He stands at 5 feet 11 inches, weighed in at 204 and one half pounds. A freestyle fighter with a storied background in wrestling. His record stands at 26 wins and eight losses. From Temecula, California, please welcome the two-time U.S. Olympian and the four-time MMA world champion legend, the cage fighting out of the red corner the defending world champion standing at six feet one half inch and he weighed in at 204 and one half pounds a fighter raised in the disciplines of brazilian jiu-jitsu and muay thai his record stands at 10 wins two losses with nine knockouts and one submission from rio de janeiro brazil tonight making his first defense of the title please welcome the strike force world light heavyweight champion and our referee in charge now to give instructions Dan Mergliata all right guys move through the rules in the locker room I want you to obey my commands at all times protect yourselves at all times if you want to touch gloves do it now step back good luck guys Just over 7,000 fans in attendance, and they are amped as we all are in anticipation of tonight's main event. Will Rafael Feijão solidify uh, his ready, grasp sir? on are the title? Let's go fight, guys. Or will Dan Henderson continue to add to his legendary legacy? We are underway. I don't know if I can take five rounds of these two <laughs> going that. It's going to wear me out. Fejo, obviously the bigger of the two, although Hendo has always mentioned, even though he's been very successful at 185, at this age he feels, you know, he wants to enjoy his food, doesn't want to cut as much weight, and obviously also been very successful at 205, although he ate that vicious he smiled when leg he, kick. He smiled when he got kicked, but that it, means hurts. it hurts. A lot of respect here, Sean. And Fajal came out and bowed to Dan Henderson before the fight. Big respect. Hey, Pat, what's that right hand that Henderson uses so well called? I think you call it the H-bomb. No, I think you do. <laughs> if, well, he hit, if he hit me with it, I would. It's a trademark, and you can see he's, he's locked and loaded, stalking the champion. One minute gone in the opening round. Fajal misses with a wild left. Dan leaned in like he was going to let that right hand go. He's trying to get the timing for it. <laughs> it it's funny. You could say there's another kick to the lead leg. I mean, it's not like it needs oh. scouting. There it is, that right hand. And Feijão now knows what it feels like. Drops his hand, and he nails Henderson with an overhand right. Henderson is on the canvas, quickly getting back to his feet. Todd Plum, and a takedown from the Olympic wrestler. 
not playing around at all, man. Henderson showing he's a warrior. He got rocked hard, got up and got the takedown. That was that was amazing. Bejao, a BJJ black belt, his manager Ed Suarez telling us that as good as he is in the stand-up, his ground game is even better. And it's hard to argue when you are taught by the BJJ masters like the Noguera brothers, Anderson Silva. And of course, even in his corner tonight, maybe not so much known for his BJJ, but tremendous striker Pedro the Rock Hizzo. Henderson's gathering his wits right now after getting dropped like that and getting the takedown. That was a, hey, I got to get this takedown or I'm in deep, deep trouble. Keep busy, he guys. got Let's it. Go he can work. take a deep breath, oh, gather his wits. Yeah, exactly what he's doing. Feja controlling the posture. And the hand position. He's trying to get that arm down so we can bring that right leg up. Try for a triangle and arm bar position. Once those up. knees come up, that's a dangerous position to be in. So it's Feja who lands the first big right hand of the fight. Giving Henderson a taste of his own medicine. And the crowd chanting Hendo in support of the American fighter. I like Dan's non-attempt to pass or do anything but beat you down. And I think Pat was right. I think Dan right now is just saying, you know what? If he's going to give me the time and the referee's going to allow me to recover, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's up to Feijão now from the guard. All right, break. Nothing's going and on. Break, break. Mergliata says, okay, nothing's happening. Let's bring you guys back to your feet. Turn around. Red. Red. Again, Henderson has been the five-round distance on two different occasions. Both times, unfortunately, lost to Quinton Rampage Jackson and Jake Shields. And, uh... I don't know if he wants me to uh, mention this, but the last time he fought here at the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, he was submitted by the man in Faceout's corner, Henderson Silva, as Henderson comes straight ahead. Good job of punching to get his way in there, get into that upper body tie. He wants to be able to use his Greco, trying to wear Faceout out. But Faceout's a big guy, so, you know, who's going to get worn out from that fight? I don't know, man. Dan's awful strong, but you're right. Faceout just looks massive out there. Anderson Silva yelling out instructions to Feijal, whose back is along the fence. Some knees from Hendo, and now Feijal looking to block the knees. Referee Mergliata wants to see more action as we head into the final minute of the opening stanza. Nice body shot delivered by Henderson. Knee from Feijal. Each delivering knees. But go to shorts. Jockeying for position, final 35 seconds of the round. Dan's who, who does good. this, who, who gives the advantage in this? I mean, Fajal's the bigger guy, but Henderson is controlling him right now. Yeah, Henderson's doing a good job. He's, you know, the, with the Greco experience that he's got, he, he had the over-under there, and he was looking to block the knee and dump Fajal, but Fajal got his back against the cage and, and uh, changed the angle. Separate. I think the he's advantage up. in that position is going to Henderson. Henderson. Henderson's he's such up. a better, you know, close quarter grappler when it comes to stand-up. Final 10 seconds. A close opening round between Strike Force Light heavyweight champion Rafael Feijão and MMA legend Dan Hendo Henderson. And well, Feijão drew first blood with the kick, but he came back with this. Dan Henderson, an overhand right that glazed and landed there on top of Dan's head. And boy, he stoned him, dropped him right down. And you're right, Pat, he popped right up and meant business. Double leg trip position, leg trip, and right back into the guard. You know, it's amazing what you can do when you're hurt. Guys are dangerous when they're hurt. Down goes Henderson. What in the heck just hit me? It's like, all right, time to scramble, baby. Let's get up. And that's what wrestlers do well. And a guy with that much experience like Henderson, the amount of fights he's had, big fights, he can survive. Kelly Hutcherson, Strike Force, Rockstar Energy Drink Card Girl. Of course, so many great fans here in attendance as well. So many familiar faces fight, and a face show. And Hendo touch gloves to kick off round two, guys. Hendo, when it came to power strikes, according to CompuStrike, outlanded Feijal eight to five. Very close opening round, Pat. How do you score it? I'm going 10-9 with Feijal from the knockdown. Ooh. I'll give it 10-9 with Hendo, but I think just Hendo rocks. Ah, you're from California. Then, I know. Okay. Henderson now beginning to hunt down the champion, flashing the jab. Feijal avoiding the overhand right, looking for the takedown. Nice defense exhibited here by the champion. 
Nice power fighting out of that takedown by Henderson. Hendo's got something in his eye, blinking his eye out a little bit. He just wiped it. Henderson loves to fight in the clinch. Beige out. You can hear those shots to the body. Really not much happening here. Let's go. I think Feja went the younger, taller, bigger man. It's on him to work this. It's on him to make this a long, fast, tiring fight. You don't want Dan hanging in there for five rounds. It's not healthy. Anderson picks up the single leg, goes for the high crotch, and uh, Feja, just again, the bigger, stronger guy, able to defend it. That was a nice transition from the single leg to the punch, and now he's got the over-under again. He's gonna walk. Looking for the takedown, Feijal, and there's a man. Henderson, very strong here in the clinch with Feijal. And the balance beautifully done by Dan Henderson in a top position. That's an Olympic wrestler for you right there, man. Getting them off their feet. Good luck. Dan's got a little, getting a little busy here, trying to get that posture position again. Either make a pass or stand up and pound him out. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in the second round. Scrambling underneath his face. Y'all grabs a leg. Beautiful reversal. Nicely done by the champion. That's that, that sick half guard offense that he's got from the bottom, man. Once they get rolling underneath you back and forth, it's like you're on top of a big blue Swiss ball yep. trying to balance on it. It's, it's really tough to stay on top. And the smaller Hendo now on his back. And again, we've talked about it. It's been well documented, but it's the truth. His only three losses via submission have come to members of Feijal's camp. So obviously not a place that Henderson wants to be. He was even peeking over the referee saying, hey, you know, you can help me out here if you want. <laughs> I think the referee will stand him up, if it, obviously, if they stay like this for much longer. Henderson's looking for that. Do you think Feijal should try to pass? I think Feijal needs to get to work, or they're going to get stood up. He wants to stay on the ground. Well, there we go. That's a smart move by Henderson. A lot of guys will go for submissions on the bottom and they'll miss them and they'll tire themselves out and the fight won't get stood up because of that. Well, he's only had one or make that two submission wins in his career. So it's not like he is a huge threat on the ground. Only when it comes to grounded pot, not submissions. High kick raises. You gotta set that up with a jab and that would be money. Overhand right, and again, that wild left hook. I mean, it's got lots of power, but needs to do a better job of setting it up, right, Pat? He's throwing some heaters, though, man. <laughs> he won't, you know, it's a good thing Henderson's getting out of the way of him now. There's Superman punch by Henderson. Connects. Doesn't follow up. 55 seconds now. Nice outside leg kick delivered by Dan Henderson. And there's another Superman punch. Didn't get through the guard of Feijiao, and immediately Henderson closes the gap back into the clinch. Well versed here with his Greco-Roman background. He wasn't a two-time Olympian for nothing, and there you see it. Now he's back in the half guard, though. He's got to pay attention. He cannot let Feijiao get that left arm inside of his right leg and start moving him back and forth. Final 20 seconds of the round. Henderson in top position in Feijal's half guard. Oh, elbow to the thigh. Those hurt. Final 10 seconds of the second round of the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship bout. It's been a very competitive affair through 10 minutes of action between champion Feijal, challenger Henderson. For Strike Force Columbus, part of the Arnold Sports Festival, all about fitness, and who is fitter than that man? A physical freak, Herschel Walker in attendance tonight. Here's a takedown. These are Olympic caliber hips. That's why you cannot get Dan Henderson down. And he just squared, squared, flipped. God, I wish I could do that. That is cool. That was amazing. That was that was very amazing. Showing what you need a you need a shotgun to get him off their feet. There's that and there's that leg pick and that rolling you're talking about, Pat. He just rolled side to side. He got. Hendo's leg caught up, and he followed it down with a single leg slash, I'm gonna get you down move. Yeah, that. 
Yeah. Beautiful body lock, blocking the knee with the, with the leg. You saw that, and just staying glued to him and bringing him down. And Dan going right to work once he got him there. So a very close fight through two rounds. Anderson landed 32 out of 47 strikes in that second round. Fajal 23 of 33, right, it was two of three in takedowns. Fajal 0 for 1, so it's close, guys, but how do you have it through two rounds? Uh, Fajal first round, Henderson second round, one to one. I'm flipping that. So you guys both have it even, though, after two? Yep. Take it by that. Oh, that jab would have landed. Lead kick, counter right. And Henderson catches him with a straight right hand, uppercut back to the clinch. Fajal scrambling aggressively away from the cage. Doesn't want any part of the clinch with Hendo. He's very explosive. Put his foot against the cage to explode off it. Nice move. Anything you guys would like to see more of? Oh, Henderson hurt Fajal with that right. And the ground net pound. Henderson at the age of 40 has added the strike force light heavyweight championship. champion, Pride 2 Division champion, and now Strike Force light heavyweight kingpin as he defeats Rafael Feijão, and the Strike Force light heavyweight title change span continues. <laughs> yes, it does, but you know what? You got to be happy for a guy like Henderson pulling it off at 40 years old. And Laurel, I'll give you credit. You can call the right hand what you want now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the H-bomb delivers the Strike Force light heavyweight title to Dan Henderson and unbelievable his original Team Quest teammate Randy Couture a champion in his 40s and now Dan Henderson who will turn 41 later this year adds the strike force 205 pound title to his uh, list of accomplishments and Rafael Feijao a close fight until he tasted that devastating right. Man, I tell you what, every time he touches people with that right hand, he crushes people. Woo! There comes the H-bomb, yeah! Just grazing chin shot that just went right through the hands of Feijal, and he just didn't recover. He's looking for a moment here, but Dan stayed on him, on his back, hooks in, and pounded him out. Wow, just explosive. Call it the H-bomb, call it the right hand of death. It works. If it touches you, you are going to sleep. Look at Feijal, just still figuring out where he's at. And you know, the, the right hand grazed him, what we thought, but it face-planted a giant Feijal and put him away. I tell you what, you know, he's done it over and over and over. And Matt Lindland, who used to train with him, said Henderson hit him with it one time, and he goes, I, I never wanted to get hit with it again. It's ridiculous, even with 16 ounce sparring gloves on. And he has such uh, range with it. Like, you can see him, he just holds it there like it's a cock gun. And then he just kind of, I mean, he's not flashy. He doesn't, he doesn't do a whole lot. He just throws it and it lands. He dropped shields like a sack of potatoes. I thought for sure he was going to finish him off. But what a right hand to drop the champion to take the belt. Dan Henderson, I mean, come on. So are you. <laughs> I'm not farting. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. 50 seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is the new Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion of the World. Hendo Henderson!